everyone and welcome back to Ensemble Stars for some limited anniversary scouting. And the way they do the scouting now, because everything is so random, I have really had to pick and choose as to uh, which set I wanted to do a full roll for and therefore do a video for. Uh, but Naru is my second favorite character in the game, so I figured she was a good choice. I was one of the people that actually liked the way they used to do it in the old game where it was divided by class because the majority of my favorites were either from 3A or 2B, so I could scout in those two boxes and be reasonably happy with any sort of outcome. Uh, this time around, and really since they've started Ensemble Stars, two exclamation points, uh, what I've kind of had to do is just scout for my very top faves and the rest just solo and hope for the best, which so far hasn't been working too well, <laughs> but I think out of the last few boxes they've had, I've gotten, who did I get? I got Subaru, Hinata, Tatsumi, and Kanata. So none of my 2A or 2A, 3A or 2B boys. Um, but in this box, um, there are also a number of characters that I wouldn't mind getting. So hopefully I can actually get a video up. I had tried to do one last week for Izumi's new feature scout, um, partly because it's a beautiful card and it's animated and I love what they're doing with it, and because the four stars also come with outfits, and Izumi and Rei are both, like, in my top ten, uh, that video did not go well, <laughs> so that's why that didn't get posted. And I also tried to do a video on Helios for Billy's new four star, which also didn't get posted for different reasons um, that I won't talk about here, because this is not a Helios video, so I will wait until the next time I scout in that game. I also did not do a video for Mika's Easter 4-star because I had approximately three solos worth of Daya at the time. Luckily he came home within those three solos, I was very grateful. Uh, but that's the reason there hasn't been a video for a while, because A, I haven't had Daya, and B, when I have had Daya, things have not gone well. So, in terms of all of the free scouts and things they gave us for the anniversary, I got a few new 5-stars. I don't remember exactly where all of these are from anymore, but I got this Tamoya which is the, the Izumi one in the uh, Unbloomed. Uh, I got this Nagisa, who's also very beautiful. Ooh. I got Initial Ray. I think that was my guaranteed five star from the last ticket they gave out. Uh, I got Lamort Ray, which I am very happy about because I did scout for this set. I have a video scouting for it. Uh, didn't get him at the time. Ray's five stars do not like coming home to me at all. So this was really, really nice to get. And that's what the Unbloomed looks like. And uh, this Himera was obviously from the last event, <laughs> and then I got Initial Natsume. So I believe the only Initial card I don't have now is Shu, so I'm slowly collecting them. Again, Initials aren't that exciting, but they do fill out the album, so that's a good thing. Alright, in terms of today, here's the box we're looking at. So it's Wataru, uh, Naru, Hiro, Yuzuru, and Mitsuru. So. Honestly, I like all of these characters, so I would be happy with anyone, but I really want Naru, so that's uh, that's kind of the goal, and they've done something different again. Uh, so these obviously come with the default home screen outfits, uh, but they also come with the fancy 777 bonus whatever outfit that happens if you roll 777s when you play Surprising Thanks. But you need three copies of the card to get that, so uh, that is probably not going to happen. <laughs> we are guaranteed two four stars per roll with this set, but that's not necessarily two different four stars. It's just two two of these anniversary four stars could be the same one twice. That's definitely happened to me before. So um, again, if I got three copies, I would be super happy, but uh, we're really just going for one and hoping for the best. And I do have a few dia left over. I bought one of the, the smaller packs just because I wanted some extra dia to do solos for these anniversary sets. Um, I'm mostly saving them for the next set, because the next set has... I think it's Chiaki and Kato. It's two 3A boys anyway, so I definitely want to uh, throw my solos at there and hope some of them come home, because uh, Shu and Kaoru did not in the first set, and Mao did not last time. So uh, I'm batting 0 for 3 currently on the, on the classes, or the old classes with the cards that I really wanted. Uh, so yeah, Mika is not in this half of the set. His half will come out, like, in the fall, so I don't have to worry about that right away. Um, so it's really all on Naru, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, here we go. That felt really fast. I know we're getting some four stars, so we'll see what happens. That, that tells me nothing. All right. 
And I think this time everyone is included in these sets, even the characters that aren't in this half, so it's kind of potluck in terms of what other cards you might get. So far it's all three stars. So far it's all three stars. There's Mitsuru and Wataru. Is that gonna be it? Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not unhappy about that. Um, Arashi normally does come home in four-star form, which you've probably seen in some of my other videos, but I do have solos. I do still have some extra Daya. I am most worried about, and I think a lot of people have said that because last time with the Dramatica play that happened, they did do a related gacha that because it was released first, uh, Arashi might be getting an event gacha with a five star and I'm very nervous about that because if you haven't seen, they've released not all of the cast photos, but a few of them, uh, Arashi included. Kitamu looks gorgeous, but that's like a given, <laughs> but I really like the outfit and the, uh, the plot as far as we know of it in uh, this particular play. I haven't actually watched the last one yet, but one day I'm so far behind in, on ensemble stage, honestly, but okay, so. Um, I am actually happy about this. I like Mitsuru and I like Wataru a lot. I generally do scout for him. He's another one that like really doesn't like coming home. So I'm actually pretty pleased about this. And I really like what they're doing with this set where they each have their little like neon symbol that kind of relates to him. You can't see that one in there, but you can see it. You can see the bird in this one. And I, it won't let me zoom in either way. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm just going to do this and regret it. Yeah. That was really fast. All right. Well, if you saw the last video I did, I got like three Arashi four stars in one pull. So maybe this was due. Would have really liked to get it because limited cards, obviously you can't just hope for them to come home at any other point. Um, they usually rerun them at some, at some time in the future, but I'll probably end up throwing a few more solos at this box just in case something good happens. <laughs> Either way. Um, I hope you have better luck than I've been having in my games lately if you decide to scout for this set or if you're scouting for anything else that's available right now. And like I said, I can't, I need to save up a poll just in case they throw that Naru 5 star at us in the near future. Um, but otherwise, we'll see what happens with the upcoming gotchas as always, and I will see you later. So bye for now.